Hey guys, and welcome. Let me turn my volume down on the other camera. How y'all doing today, this Wednesday? Hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday. I am your favorite host. Is this the right show? Yes, the Instant Jello Show. It is our weekday show um, where we come together on Wednesday, every other Wednesday. We come together for our weekday. I have on the top, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to show y'all. I do have on the top. <laughs> um, but it's our weekday show. We just got off work. We need to make us a quick meal. We want to relax. It's hump day. We just got two more days. And we just want to make something quick that we can eat. Um, meal prep for lunch tomorrow. That's what this show is. And today, we have a wonderful meal that I'm so excited to make you guys might hear ticking in the background that's because i have my air fryer already preheated that's how excited i am okay i'm already preheated okay um but we are going to have a wonderful meal today i want to jump right into it welcome you guys to the show and today we are going to be making an air fryer parmesan crusted chicken because you know we're trying to keep it light we're trying to keep it healthy um some of us are slacking on the flat belly challenge but others are doing very very good and i'm so proud of you and so this meal is going to help us to stay on track okay so i am so excited we're going to be also making cheesy asparagus spears i've been wanting to make this for so long but i've always been nervous but we're going to make this today on the instant show so let's jump into what we need. Yes, y'all hear y'all never dog in the back. He want to be in the kitchen. He can't be in the kitchen today. Not today. Hey, auntie. Welcome to the show. Hey, mom. Sous chef. Welcome to the show. Um, so for the ingredients that we're going to need for our air fryer. Oh, wait. Before I get to that. Girl, auntie. I started watching the cooks of Casamar. Casamar. However you say it. That show, oh my goodness, it's so good. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pace myself, girl. I'm trying to pace myself because I don't want to be done with the show too fast because it's only one season. So I'm trying to pace myself. But you guys, Netflix cooks of Casamar, the bomb. Okay, and the girl name was Angelica. I felt so like special. But anyway, um, I just had to throw that out there before I forgot because I know I was gonna forget about it on Sunday. But anywho. Back to the show. I just wanted to let Auntie be hooking me up, telling me the show's on Netflix. We like period pieces, her and I, so it's a period piece. <laughs> she said, watched it within 48 hours. Exactly. Um, so we like period pieces. So if you're into that, check it out on Netflix. It's called The Cooks of Kasumar. I hope I'm saying it right. But anyway, look it up. All right. So what we're going to need, we're going to need one and a half cup cups of freshly grated parmigiano reggiano reggiano however you say that i'm sorry to the italians i probably butchered it um but i have it i have my my cup and a half of my parmigiano reggiano 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 whatever all right and then we're also going to need a cup of mayo i have my cup of duke's of duke's mayo <laughs> Also, what I'm going to add to my Duke's Mayo, you guys, um, I am going to add a little um, Borzen garlic and herb cheese to my mayo. So just a little bit, but I'm going to add that to my mayo. Um, and we're also going to need two tablespoons of dried Italian seasonings. You guys know I love my Italian seasoning. You're going to need two tablespoons of garlic paste. 
or six cloves of garlic, uh, six cloves finely grated, six cloves of garlic finely grated. I have my finely grated garlic here. You guys know I always keep garlic on deck. We're going to need two teaspoons of paprika because my mom is fancy. This is fancy paprika. Okay. Yes, the bottle does say fancy paprika. And um, on the ingredients for this list, um, I doubled my ingredients because I'm making more than just four chicken breasts because chicken breasts, um, the chicken breasts, uh, we're going to cut in half. So if you're making it just for four people or two people to have two pieces, then you want to get two boneless chicken breasts. But of course, you can always modify the ingredients list. Are you saying something? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you're also going to need one and a half cups of marinara sauce. And I want to show you guys this sauce real quick. Hold on. Okay, because we are trying to be a little health conscious, okay, I got Ragu Simply Chunky Marinara Pasta Sauce. It's made with no sugar added and 100% olive oil. Okay, I mean, we're going to try it because we're trying to eat healthy. We're trying to stay on track, okay, guys? It's only 70 calories for a half a cup. And how much did we need for our show? We only needed one and a half cups. So we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad compared to other um, sauces. I know it's more than 70 calories. So we're doing good. Okay. So that's that. We are also going to need um, salt and pepper to taste or whatever seasoning that you like. Um, you can do that. How much was it? How much was what? <laughs> the sauce? Um... If you're talking about the sauce, hey cousin. Um, if you're talking about the sauce, I think I pay. I think it was like three twenty-three, some odd number, because it was on sale. Which, honey, it was probably just the taxes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think it was like three twenty-three, or yeah, no more, no more than. I don't think it was four bucks. I really don't think it might have been two thirty, two forty something. I don't know, between 2 and $3. Okay, that's how much it was. I think I threw away the receipt. But I think it was between 2 and $3 for the sauce. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it tastes. It says no sugar, you know. Some of us, we like to add some sugar to our pasta. I don't. I don't know. Like, are y'all going to take my black heart? Because I don't like to put sugar in my spaghetti. I don't know. That's another discussion. We'll talk about that later. But, so we've gone through our ingredients. The next thing we're going to talk about is our utensils. We're going to need our air fryer. We want to preheat our air fryer. Um, I had my preheating for about a couple minutes at 400 just to kind of get it going. Um, you're going to need a cutting board because remember we're going to slice our chicken breast in half. You're going to need a spoon fork knife in case you need to scoop out your ingredients. Um, and also we're going to mix this up. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure. I know Susha brought some gloves up here last show. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I know they in here. They gotta be in here. I didn't use all the gloves, did they? They not in here. You use all the gloves. I use all the gloves, girl. Okay. Yeah, I use all the gloves. I thought I had left the box of gloves up here. I don't know. But anyway. You're gonna need your measuring cups and spoons. I already pre-measured my stuff out. Because you know what? Um, when you're at work, you need to call somebody at home. Look, pre-measure this stuff. <laughs> All right. You're going to also need a bowl in case you want to just mix it with your hands. You can also use a baggie. I thought about that, but then I was like, mm, I don't know. I use a, I'll just use a bowl. Um, so those are the, um, utensils that we are going to need. So, oh, cousin says same, right? You don't like sugar. I know. What's that whole thing with sugar in the, in the spaghetti? Oh, I don't like sweet spaghetti. But anyway, um, okay, so, and y'all, it's been, it's raining out there, it was like really lightning bad, um, so you guys be safe out there, okay, this is a great time to watch the show, take your notes, um, so, thank you, point. yeah, this, thanks, she brought the whole box, <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take two out, so these to the side, 
all right y'all let's get cracking so first thing we're going to do in a small bowl well, i can use this um i'm going to use this bowl here <clears throat> I'm gonna use, uh, get a small bowl so in our small bowl we are going to mix our mayo we're gonna mix the garlic um the you can also oh, I put garlic powder just in case um you don't have like regular garlic if you don't have fresh garlic you can use garlic powder um you're also gonna mix your salt and pepper and we're gonna mix that well so let me get the other um screen up for us and let me get the small bowl over here okay so let's add that Okay. So, oh. Oop. All right. So I have the spoon. I'm gonna grab my spoon. So we're gonna mix our mayo, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and we're gonna mix that well. So let me. All right. So I'm gonna take some of our mayo. Well, most of our mayo. <laughs> And I am going to add some of our garlic and herb cheese spread. And I'm just going to add just a little salt and pepper to this because the garlic cheese spread already kind of has like its own seasoning to it. And so I don't want to overdo it, but I'm going to add just a little. Add a little pepper. Add a little bit of salt. And we're going to mix. And we're, I'm going to add in um, some of the garlic too. You know, not every, my mom tells me not everybody is in love with garlic like I am, but you know, they're gonna learn. Okay. All right. So we're gonna add our garlic in there. This already smells good. <laughs> or I'm just hungry, one or the other. Okay, so we got that mixed nice and well. Then we're going to um, spread the mayo mixture onto our chicken breast. So before we do that, we're going to set this over to the side. We're going to get our chicken breast. I have my chicken breast here. Maybe I'll sit right here so you guys can see. I'm going to grab my knife. And this is, um, so... It may, you guys may be like, those oh, some small chicken or chicken breasts. Why are you going to cut it in half? So these are small because this is Amish chicken. Okay. So it's not like that, um, you know, the pumped up. How do you share the live? Hmm. Uh, it should show share, like share. Let me know if you don't see the share link. Let me know if you don't see that. Um. But this is Amish chicken, so it doesn't have, like, the hormones, the antibiotics, the stuff, the pesticides, and all that stuff. It doesn't have all that in there. So that's why I like Amish chicken. Um, it tastes better to me, too. It doesn't taste fake. Uh, so we are going to just slice this in half. Be careful not to cut yourself. Okay, maybe sous chef. Sous chef, they're saying the share button is not on the live. I don't know what page. What page are you on? Because I have this 
being shared on like two different um what? the share button for the live they're asking how do they share on youtube or uh, no they're on facebook so i don't know what page are you on the cooking jello show page or my personal page I mean, they're, so they're looking at the show live. Yeah, they're right? looking at the show okay, live. So Sue Chef is going to help us out. So it should be right down where they would hit the like and the uh, heart button. Yeah, by the like and heart, but I don't think, I think they're oh, saying yeah, they're not, not showing. Yeah. So they may have to come out of the Oh, live. you're going to have to come out of the live and go mm -hmm. to the actual post. Here, show them. Okay, so. Go to this camera. Cause it's, okay. Cause I, I, my hair is not done. So if you're looking at the live. I just got they it. I was this? looking at it on your page. Okay, oh, they okay. just got it. Okay, cool. Thank you for the share. All right, so we're gonna cut our chicken breast and ham. This also is going to cut down on our cooking time, <laughs> especially if you got them thick breasts. No pun intended. I'm not, you know, I'm talking about the chicken breast, you know, but um, it's gonna cut down on that time too. Again, just be careful when you are cutting your chicken breast in half. All right. So now that we have our breast in half, I am going to wipe off my hand. Actually, I'm going to rinse it off real quick. <laughs> I'm also going to grab just like a big plate um, just so once we do, um, I'm going to move the cutting board out the way. Let me try my hands off. Got water all in the plate. Let me just move this off real quick. Okay. So I'm going to Put the gloves well i wait for just one second because what we're going to do is let's go back i think it's going to tell us to put our so we're going to mix the um italian seasoning and parmesan together so you want to get a small bowl and so i have my small bowl here i'm going to go ahead and add my parmesan and the Italian seasoning. Let me grab another spoon. Okay, so I'm just grabbing another spoon just to kind of mix that up. I think I'm going to add a little more Italian um, seasoning to mine. Just a little bit more. Okay, give that a nice mix. Get those clumps out of the cheese. Okay, perfect. So, instructions tell us to go ahead and spread the mayo mixture on our chicken. Granny says, sound great. All right, so we're going to um, spread the mayo mixture. And I don't want to get my hands too messy. That's why I'm putting on the gloves. And then we're going to spray, um, well, let's do this now because while well, I got these gloves on. Before I, um, let me take one of these off. Before we get the gloves off messy, let's spray the, spray down your um, air fryer basket. I'm just going to lightly spray it with some pure and simple canola oil. Can you see that? 
canola oil uh, frying and baking spray, cooking and baking spray. So you just want to spray your basket. All right. So once we spread the mayo, put the Italian and Parmesan mix on, we're then going to layer our chicken in the basket um, with their single layer. So you don't want them overlapping. And we're going to put our air fryer on 380 degrees and we're going to cook it for 15 minutes, flipping halfway through. Okay, so those are our instructions. Let's begin. Okay. I'm going to do this chicken over there, stuff right here. Okay. So, I'm just going to dip it in the sauce. Oh, Susho, Susho, is you right here? Yes. Percy, I want you to know he's watching. Hey, Percy. Welcome to the show. He's watching you on YouTube live. Oh, okay, what yeah. am I doing? Just open this basket. Open your basket. Yeah. You can see me with my hair messed up. They can see you. Oh, good. Yes. It's not like that. Yes, yeah, a small camera. You want me to take it all the way out? Uh, yeah, you or can. Or just leave it like Yeah, you can. Um, I'll put it in. No, I need the chicken. Oh, just sit it right there. Thanks. And then, yeah. And then just, you're just going to lightly put it in your parmesan and then i guess i'm just gonna lay it right on in there bam i guess i didn't need that other plate And I'm just gonna dip it in your mixture, the Italian dressing, I mean the Italian seasoning mix and the parmesan. Single layer. I think I could fit about three or four of these in there. So it should look like that. Then it look good. It looks good. Good, good, good. I want some cheese on that part. <laughs> okay. Um, so maybe I can only fit three. I don't want to overcrowd it. So I'm just gonna take these gloves off. Alright, and so we're gonna go ahead and stick it in our air fryer. So I guess I could just go ahead and do the other ones. That way they'll be prepped. And maybe that's why I got the plate, right? Let me get some more gloves. What y'all saying? Oh, I see you, but you look fine, girl. Oh. Your sister said she saw you, but you look fine. I know. I thought she was. I heard it not look bad. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other ones. So now I'm getting down. I don't want to put all of my stuff in there. I'm going to add just a little bit the rest of the Parmesan cheese. And a little bit more of my Italian dressing. Just a And this is also a low carb meal as well. So if you're trying to watch your carbs, there's no breading. Um, so that's also I'm gonna take this one. that's also a um, good thing. Nice 
that's also a good thing too because I'm trying to put cars around here oh and make sure guys that you rinse your meat um, this is already pre uh, washed wrenched uh, chicken breast so just don't you forget okay don't you forget to wash your meat there's so much stuff going on with the food and things so just make sure you um yeah wash it and bless it bless your bread and water in the air <laughs> right Mm -hmm. Uh no, we're gonna do that on when we go to a, a break. Okay. Once we get to it, because we're gonna use the air fryer for that. Oh, cool. You need to start washing, washing. Yeah, if you want to rinse on that time. Okay. Just want to do something. Well, just <laughs> make herself useful while she's doing nothing. Well, I'm doing nothing with my granddaddy. That's what my great granddaddy used to tell them. Make yourself useful while you're doing nothing. Oh, did we watch? Did y'all see the time? What's the time, y'all? I don't remember the time. Whoops. Okay. I can't believe that's how they used to get the time. Mm -hmm. You have to call in to see what time it was. That's crazy. At the time, the time will be. Will be here. I just got one more. Uh oh. Can you turn the top one? Yeah. It smells good. It really does. I can smell it cooking all that. Maybe. maybe in a few minutes. Maybe in like two or three minutes, I'll check it. I don't think it's been half the time or 15 minutes, but. Okay, guys, so I finished um, seasoning and coating our chicken. So as they're done, we can just swap them on out. Okay. All right, I'm going to check. Oh, man, y'all. Wait till y'all see this. Mm, mm, mm. It smells super delicious. Oh, I forgot to add our paprika. We'll put it home when we flip it. Let me sprinkle some all over the side. So I'm just sprinkling the paprika on the top of the um, other chicken breast. The first one's not going to have it, so sorry. Before I forget that. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to remove that camera. So in about probably like another three minutes, I'm going to flip the chicken because, like I said, this is Amish chicken. It doesn't have all of those um, preservatives and hormones and all that stuff that they put in our food. Um, and it's from the Amish, so thank you. Um, so it's, it's going to cook a little different than if you had those jumbo breasts that take forever to cook. And then when you cook it, it's tough and dry. Nobody got time for that. So get you some Amish chicken. Um, it is it. I think they have four breasts in it, and I think it was like seven dollars and thirty eight cent at piece. So that's not bad to me. That's not bad. And it's worth it. It's better for you not to have all that stuff in you that they put in the chicken. So then um, we're gonna make that. 
and just for the sake of the show we'll just do probably like this batch and then do a batch of our asparagus just so we're not keeping you guys up um and just so you can get the gist of how you can meal prep this how it is quick and easy to make this meal um and it's healthy and it's tasty so let me grab a um Um, no, just you can just shake it real well. That's okay. fine. So uh, we're um probably two more minutes. I'm gonna flip our um chicken. So while we're waiting on that, let's look at our asparagus. What we're gonna need for that. So for the asparagus, you're gonna need a pound of asparagus or whatever you choose. <laughs> you're gonna need a tablespoon of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder lemon pepper which is optional you don't have to you're also going to need one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese um, and also one teaspoon of italian seasoning okay the utensils you're going to need you're going to need a cutting board a spoon fork knife um actually not the spoon and not the you might want to use the fork but you're definitely going to need the knife your measuring cups and spoons so we can measure our ingredients you're also going to need a bowl or a baggie. I'm actually going to use a baggie this time because that's way much better for asparagus because they're long and who has time to try to fight for the asparagus to fit in a bowl. And then you're also going to need our handy dandy air fryer. So I think I'm going to have to invest in two air fryers because why not? <laughs> so what we're going to do um, for the asparagus we're going to trim an inch or two off the bottom of the asparagus. We're then going to toss it with the olive oil. And then we're, uh, we're going to toss it with the olive oil and the salt, pepper, lemon pepper, and garlic powder, if you choose, those seasonings. And then we're going to place them in the air fryer um, at 400 for about eight minutes. Once that's done at, at eight minutes, we're then going to sprinkle the top with cheese and the Italian seasoning, and we're gonna put it back in the air fryer for two more minutes or until the cheese is melted. Y'all, this just sounds so good, I cannot wait. So, I'm going to, I'm going to um, go ahead and flip. Look at our chicken, y'all. Y'all see that? Doesn't it look good? So we're gonna flip our chicken over. I guess it's better than flipping the lid. <laughs> oh, it's the Ooh, chicken good and tender. Over. Oh man, all the seasoning just okay. That's okay. I feel like I need to put some more Parmesan cheese on it now. All my cheese fell off of it after I flipped it. That's okay. Alright, so now and you can always, which I'll probably do anyway once the chicken is done done, because we're gonna put our marinara sauce on top of it. And I'm probably gonna put some more Parmesan cheese on top of that anyway. So just you can have that, you know, onto the side. Oh Lord, the corny comedian has made her arrival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way. Exactly. Okay, so I got my bag in here. I got the gallon size bag. Um, you know, you could also, if you want to just cut them up and not have them so long, you could do that too. But I'm just going to leave them pretty long. All right. Okay, so we have our asparagus. They are pre-washed. So um, we're going to take our knife. And we're going to cut just about an inch or two off the bottom. Put them in our bagging. As I cut them.
Did you guys see my mom's post or Sue Chef's post that she made um, the buffalo cauliflower? Oh, it was so good. It and looked good. Sweet chips and she made sweet potato chips as well. That's okay, girl. Using my cooking job all the time. Uh, recipe. Sure it was quick and effortless. I was kind of surprised. Yeah, that's what I like. Quick and effortless. I think the only time I put like, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't put effort into, you know, what I do, but like when it comes to cooking, I try to, you know, keep it, keep it nice and sweet, except for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, then it's like, that's a whole nother story. So I bought like two bunches of asparagus. I think that's how you, what you call them, bunches. I bought two of those. Okay. So in our bag, I'm going to, I have olive oil, of course, already measured out. So I am just going to pour the olive oil in. And then um, I didn't measure out my garlic and stuff. So what we're going to do is... I think it's garlic. about. Huh? You don't ever miss your garlic. I don't garlic ever will go crazy because it doesn't matter. What do you mean? You don't measure how much garlic. You oh yeah, I don't measure garlic. garlic. Yeah. Going to be but you know, Granny, nice. Granny, trying to get make help me to be more professional and the professional. Oh, yeah, they measure right. it oh, out. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to keep her on the bad habit of uh, sprinkling garlic until the ancestors tell her to stop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to make sure we measure these things out nowadays. So. <laughs> Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to, we're going to take a quick, quick, quick break and then we'll be back. I should have my ingredients measured out within our break time. And then I think our chicken should be done for us to take that out too. And then we'll see how that looks. Okay. Oh, I should put, put you on break, right? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>
All right, guys, we are back. And guess what? I want to show you guys our chicken. Let me show you. Hold on one second. Sorry. No, go ahead. Because they can see that. Oh, sorry. I got it. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, look at our chicken. So, that's our Parmesan crusted chicken, you guys. Look at how juicy it looks. The Parmesan cheese melted on there. Oh, wait till we finish. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the mic. All right. So we have our asparagus here. Um, do you want me to get another bag? And so we can save time for your other season? That way it's not all. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, fine. It's one, should be one kind of hanging out there because I pulled two by mistake. You want me to show them your season? Your camera. All right, so we show for me show y'all her season she got from Costco. I just want to try it. Here. It's a balsamic and roasted onion veggie roaster seasoning blend. Seasonings, seasons. Okay, no, that's not something. I, okay, so it's gluten free. It says seasons 20 plus pounds of veggies. So this take care of 20 pounds. Or more of vegetables. And this is it. Balsamic roasted onion veggie roaster. She got it from Costco. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take. I saw the Brussels sprouts on there. And I said, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take um, half of our. Let me get a glove. Half of our um, asparagus out of this bag. So she can use this for um, the. Other oh, roasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna take half. Oh. I'll use this just in case you don't like it. <laughs> no, right. Okay. Okay. How much? Hmm. How much? Um. Just a, a little bit. That's fine. Alright, okay. so I did get, um, uh, this one, yes, for what we got already. So I'm just going to add, I got my garlic powder, so I'm going to add some garlic powder. I got lemon pepper, so we're going to add just a little bit of lemon pepper. And this is the Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Yes. Yeah, I think that's all I put in this. Okay. So, I'm um, actually don't need this. I just did that to get yours out. So, I'm going to seal the bag. Secure the bag. Okay, secure the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy. I'm salivating. My goodness. Yeah, it looks it looks good. Hey, hey. All right, so, so I'm just going to give this a nice shake and rub down so that the seasoning can so the seasoning can get evenly on all so it can be easily distributed on our asparagus okay okay so we have our asparagus fully coated so what we're going to do is take our basket and we're going to okay i guess i didn't make that I am gonna use a glove. Was there, I was thinking, wasn't there something about um, either eating asparagus or juicing asparagus that was supposed to be good for like cancer or something? Mine, really? do you remember that? Was it asparagus? I think it was asparagus. Now I'm gonna have to look it up because I'm looking at these little 
butts from the asparagus like hmm, what would those be good oh let me see that knife because i'm gonna have you may have to adjust your asparagus spears want me to oh you could okay i'm gonna try to use my left hand y'all okay so can you do me a favor though? Sure. Can you spur the basket with the oil? Yes. Please. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my left hand to cut this. So I'm modifying my asparagus. And we can even use these tips for stir fry. I made some y'all, I made a shrimp stir fry last night. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. It was so good. So I think I'm gonna have to use these asparagus butts. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So you may have to adjust some of your asparagus uh, spears because you want them in a single layer. I can add a few more. I'm going to add just two or three more. Two skinny ones. Okay, and it's set for eight minutes. So we're going to we'll take this glove off. We're going to go ahead and put our asparagus in. We're gonna let that cook eight minutes. So it's 725. So at 734, we're going to huh? Hello. Eight minutes. We're gonna set the um alarm or the timer. Okay, I want to put the asparagus over here to the side. We're going to okay, so I'm gonna take um our chicken that we have. Uh, I need a spin. We're gonna take our marinara sauce. Remember we had that. And I, I have, this is um, garlic parmesan. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I got to think with garlic. Okay, so Auntie hooked us up. Okay. So according to her friend Google, yep. asparagus juice alleviates arthritic, arthritic? Arthritic. arthritic pain. It can prevent and dissolve kidney stones. And it's amazing to reduce water retention during pregnancy. Who knew? Mm -hmm. Asparagus also, wait, so only juice, not if you eat it. What's the difference? Like, what? Okay, we'll talk about that. Maybe you can ask your friend again, Auntie. Like, does it have to be juice or can it be just eat it? Yeah. So, huh? yeah, so asparagus also boosts the function of the penile, adrenal, and thyroid glands. As well as the heart, lungs, liver, pancreas, and spleen. And it says drinking asparagus juice encourages good bacteria in the gut and oh. aids nutrient oh, absorption. Um, did y'all hear oh. that? It's good for your gut. It, it encourages good bacteria in the gut and aids nutrient absorption and helps the immune system function properly. A shot of asparagus juice to aid digestion and nutrient absorption. So there, you learned something. You learned today. something always on the cooking jello show. Like we gonna get you right. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm just putting a little of my sugar free. <laughs> I hope this tastes right. The sugar-free marinara oh, sauce. Okay. <laughs> now we have some more chicken. To make trying to sauce. eat, trying <laughs> to eat healthy, man. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take just like a, um some of the garlic parmesan and just put that on top, like so. Bam. Okay, so that's our um that's our chicken. We still got five minutes for our asparagus, so I'm just gonna sit this back that warm i just wanted to have that already prepared because you know it's during the week and if you're trying to just make something you want to present it maybe you have people coming over for dinner maybe you're making a special dinner 
and you want to just make sure you're not rushing at the last minute to just put everything on the plate, you plate as you go. That's how you do it. That's how I see on TV. That's what I see Gordon and them doing. They be plating as they go. They make something plated. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to practice, you know, get into the swing of things. All right. So we got eight minutes, five minutes for that. I think mean, that's it, y'all. We just we got four minutes left. This was a quick meal. And I can't wait to taste that. I'm all, I'm salivating. I had, I ain't going to tell y'all what I had. Never mind. I had a, a bad, not a bad lunch, but I didn't, I didn't eat it all, though. I definitely didn't eat it all. But um, I'm hungry. Let's just say that I'm hungry. But did you guys see what we're making next week? Next, Sunday. I mean, Sunday, Sunday. That's what I meant. Well, that's technically next week, isn't it? Isn't Sunday the start of the next week? Oh. Anyway, Sunday we're making Virginia Crab Imperial. Yes. So this is sous chef. This her uh, idea. This is her suggestion mm. for us to Say make it. this on the Cooking Jello show. And I may just throw in there. I didn't put it on there. I might put it on there. But I may throw in there us making us some uh, what they call those. Um, What's the name I'm looking for, y'all? It's so it's like the bruschetta bread, uh, but it's hard toast. Up. I forgot what they call it, but it's like we gonna make some of that too. We might make us some bread to go with our uh, crab imperial because it looks like a crab casserole, mm -hmm. um, and I might need to dip mine. I want to dip mine, so I'm, I'm gonna find us a, a keto friendly. Bread. It's called. It start with a T. To, it's not tostada. It's a word for it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find out what it is. It starts with a T, and it's the name of like this crispy bread that you made. I saw it on one of these shows. So now this doesn't specifically say that the asparagus has to be juiced, but this says there is some scientific evidence that asparagus can increase urine production. Asparagus is a good source of dietary fiber, folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B6, and several minerals. And it also said somewhere in here that it's also, um, let's see, where is it? If asparagus is used along with lots of fluids as irrigation therapy to increase urine output. It is also used for bladder infections, urinary tract infections, joint pain, obesity, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. Let me find out. All I gotta do is get some asparagus every day. Right? But it sure it, it does give you kind of a pungent smell when you have to go to the when you, to the loo. When you yeah, when you go to the loo. Yeah, you eat asparagus, your your um you have a pungent odor. Yeah, and your, your urine can mm -hmm. turn green. <laughs> it can turn green. Um, yeah. Let's see how long we got. Okay, we just got a little over a minute. That's not bad. I'm ready to eat, y'all, if y'all can't tell. I'm ready. I'm ready. So is that all our nutritional facts? Yeah, I think that's that's good enough, eh? I think that's good enough. Possib possibly effective for high blood pressure. Early research shows that taking tablets containing asparagus root and parsley leaf does not reduce blood pressure. <laughs> so for our mozzarella cheese that we're going to um, top it with, I was supposed to put the Italian herb on top with, of the cheese, but I put it on the asparagus so whatever but anyway i got the creamy milk cheese so with philadelphia with a touch it says with a touch that probably means it's like a little but it says with a touch of philadelphia so this is gonna be real good i got italian cheese it has five cheeses it has mozzarella provolone parmesan asiago and Romano with cream cheese. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. It's about 90 calories for a quarter of a cup. That's not bad, not too bad. Right? 
That's a couple of Oreo cookies. <laughs> I don't okay. know. Okay. Timer. 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 I didn't think about that. But we sprayed now. it with the stuff, so it should come right out. Yeah. So we're going to layer on our cheese. Lay it on thick. This beggars. Pizza. Don't ask me how I know that, y'all. That's not real fat. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded real fat. Lay it on thick. And I knew that that was from beggars. Like. That sounded real bad. But what was the but last time you had a beggar's pizza? Really? It's Recently? It's down the street from my job. Really? Yeah, I probably we had beggar's pizza. Probably it's been a month. It's, it's, it was we had it was last month. Last month we had beggar's pizza. Hmm. Yeah, they have a lunch special. <laughs> Get you a slice of pizza, a side salad, and a drink. For like six dollars or something. How long? Um, for two minutes. I believe that's what our instructions said. Hold on, let's go back. I think we now put this back in for two minutes. Yes, for two more minutes. Okay. okay. I guess you're not the only one ready. I know. Well, you and Granny, y'all can taste it, and then I'll keep cooking. No. What else is gonna cook? You will just do chicken, chicken and more spoons. Right. Well, we can all try it on camera, and then. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna try what we what we got. Show me what you got. Okay, sorry. Thank y'all for joining me on this week day. I know you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me. Just gonna wipe our table down so we can get ready to plate. Two minutes, probably under a minute, maybe 48 seconds, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna get our play down. Give me, give me that one on the thing. So we can take our asparagus down. We got 23 seconds, y'all. 23 seconds. Like the countdown. Uh oh, they got a timer. <coughs> okay, y'all. Watch. Wait, wait, hold on. Thanks. Okay. So, you want to get another one? Um, yeah. 
Hold on, y'all. We're trying to keep our cheese intact. They didn't tell me how to do that. Okay. So, hold it up some because it's going to get in the oh, chicken. Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to get on the chicken. Well, it looks like it might not. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, Perfect. There you go. Ta-da! Response. Oh, show them. Look at Percy. Oh, no. <laughs> so Percy's watching us. Pretty much. Hold on. Oh, okay. hold on. Oh, okay. Where's the kid? Oh. <laughs> That's Percy's response to our asparagus. All right. So I'm just trying to spread it out. I'm going to leave it like that. I want to stay like that. I'm going to leave it like that. And then there is our weekday meal. Boom shakalaka. It looks so good. Oh, maybe I'll turn it this way. That's our cheesy, cheesy asparagus. And our Parmesan crusted chicken with mar our sugar free. I put that in there. A sugar free marinara sauce. Um, Y'all see, I'm smacking. And a little garlic um, parmesan on top of that. You gonna bless the food? Granny gonna bless the food? Who gonna bless Mama? Mama? She said you bless it. Oh, I was trying to take pictures. Okay, we, you could okay. bless it and then take pictures. All right. My hair is so undone. Okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just come before you and we just thank you. And bless you and we honor you, Lord, for this time for our chef Angelica and for her endeavors. Lord, we ask that you would bless this food that we're about to receive. Let it be nourishing to our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless those who do not have, Lord. Take out sickness and disease away from our midst. Remove 99.99% of the calories, fat, sodium, cholesterol, but leave all the good flavor and even add a little flavor to that marinara sauce if it's not good. Um, but bless it in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Can you step out of my light for a second? Let me uh, get a picture. They all know Sue's responsibility is to take Granny, you want to bring you a taste? Or you will come to taste? I'll get you. Okay. Granny's going to be off camera. I'll get you a fork and knife. Well, I'll get you a fork and then... I'm glad you get to be off camera while I'm looking at hotmess.com. <laughs> All oh, of that look delicious and smells delicious. Oh my! Mm. How wonderful! Mm -hmm. I'll just put a little piece on your plate. I mean, on your fork. Mm -hmm. That's the chicken. Okay. Oh boy. Mm mm mm. Mm. Good, mom. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is our cheese asparagus. Oh, that's very good. Mmm. It's so tasty. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Is it's so tasty. Why mm. are you so surprised? Mm. Okay, here you can taste yours. I'm gonna put the oh, chicken. So, oh, mm. I was about to start the chicken. Oh, while well, you go ahead and, and well, continue you go ahead your show. I'm not an asparagus person, is this my coffee? Well, oh, I don't know. I just I can eat this with asparagus. Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah, normally you don't like asparagus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is very good. Oh, good. Mm. I'm glad mm. to hear. Thank you. Mm. Mm. That's another success. And it's done. Good. <laughs> right. And nothing like eating some vegetables and it's not done. It's hard. And... Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Good. 
I'm interested in the uh, asparagus system. Asparagus. Mmm. Mmm. That chicken is delicious. Oh, you have the chicken? Mm hmm. I just tried the chicken first. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. It's a healthy. Mm. That asparagus is good. It is not. Mm. Oh, this is good, y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm just hungry, but... Ready to... I don't think so. This is good. Well, I would say that's um, another successful... <laughs> Auntie said, close your mouth before flies get in, Percy. <laughs> Auntie said, your hair looks shiny and healthy, Yvonne. Oh, thank you, child. It's nappy all the way up the brook, honey. Thank you. Brand <laughs> girl grub. That's sister love. When your sister can see your hair looking nappy and still give you a compliment. Girl, it looks anyway. Okay. Can't get your fingers to the book. That's okay. Well, y'all. Yeah. This has been another successful oh this up light now. Successful instant jello show. I want my mouth full, sorry. I'm your host, Jello. This is the Instant Jello Show. And I want to thank you all for joining. Remember to give love. Remember to sow love. So you can reap love. Because that's what this world needs. A lot more love. And, a lot and more I love cooking you guys. Show. That's right. And a lot more cooking Jello Show. That's right. Tell your friends. You know, a little napkin. You told your secret. Republicans yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alright, guys. I want to thank you again for joining the Instant Jello show. We will see you on Sunday. <laughs> we'll see you on Sunday when we make our Virginia Crab Imperial. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna find out what that word is for the toast thing. But um I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Be safe. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye, y'all.